good day. My name is Eunice and I am an air stylist. I am also a bridal air stylist and I also am a versatile air stylist. So today I will be using expression bounce to create two different bridal air styles. I will be showing you these two different air styles. The first one is going to be with a side part and a low one. So watch me as I take you through the styles I will be creating with my model over here. So with me here is our model, her name is Victoria. So Victoria will be our model for today. So I will be showing you how to create the side part. Now the first thing you do you need is a relaxed hair texture to create a perfect side part. And remember your pattern goes on the left hand angle of your side part. So I will be creating a side part and I'm stopping here, which will be the determinant for me to go towards my right hand side. So remember that while creating your side part, you also need leave outs. It is this leave outs that give you that natural look by the time you're done installing your expression weave on. When you bring out your leave outs, don't forget to weave it out so you don't end up installing your hair in the wrong section of the hair. It is very important that you bring out all the sections of your leave outs before you start your corn rows for your installation. So you bring the leave outs that will cover the upper section, which is going to be your base section. Remember, the volume of hair you leave out for your base is not going to be as much as the volume of hair you leave out for the back section. Also, because your airline is very important, you also need to take out some leave outs for your airline as it is important for you not to stress the edges of your hairline. And remember, we are creating a bridal look, so it has to look as natural as possible. And you also break down. So now that we have all our leave out section, it is now time for us to create our cornrow, which is going to be the foundation section for the installation of our expression leave on. So the first thing you need to note is how you, the, the, the braid pattern. First of all, we have the section. So, I will be starting with this angle. So our model's hair is voluminous enough. So as because of that, I will just be using a very little quantity of expression attachment in color two. this last braid into our hair. So the next step is to use our hands, our expression hands, and we will be using color 30 to achieve this look. Basically, to achieve your bridal air style, we need two packs for this, and now we're going on the second pack. Remember, we already finished um, with the first pack, and now we're going on the second one. So, you can also decide to be versatile as expression has various colors, but like I said, we are still using color 30 for our second color. And 
patterns. So we cut the last thread off. So we are done with everything that has to do with stitching of the hair. Now the next step, which is also the important step, is your finishing. Because your, the starting of your hair is very important as well as the finishing. So we need to give it a good finishing. So what is the next step we're going to do? We need to loosen the leave out, the braids we created, and then straighten them out. Now I will be using my tail comb to do that. I'll need to use a heat protectant oil and also my straightener to achieve that. Because it's the um, session where we need to um, flatten her natural hair so that it blends into the expression wave. So I'll be using my hand dryer to achieve that. And I'll need to also turn the heat on. Remember, if you don't need the fine natural hair, you have to use it, right? And not the even set as a skin. Okay, as the texture of the even is not that strong enough, it is your straightener. So, I'm going to take my straightener and also use a heat protectant to spray it on the hair. I use this as a way of protecting the hairline against heat. So you make sure you spray it all over on your leave out. And then you also avoid smearing the makeup with the oil. oil. That's very important too. So you have to also be conscious of the fact that your module has a makeup on and because of that, you do not want to use any of your spray to mess the makeup up. So I take it section by section and go ahead to straighten. When I'm also straightening, I make sure that I don't straighten against, meaning I need a hair to go this way. So if I'm straightened, I won't have to straighten it like this, not against the hair, but towards the direction of where I need the hair to go to. So that's the second layer. Remember, it is only her natural hair I would have to straighten and not the extension itself. To cover it. And then we have to come to the side too. Remember, you will have to straighten not against the direction where you need the hair to cover. We need the hair to cover this particular section so we don't have to straighten against, but we have to straighten to the direction. So now my straightener has to come this way with the hair. So we take this section first and it comes like this. So I'm sure if you use a color to um, expression, you might not actually find it very hard to um, believe that it is not all a natural hair because we have a flawless image. You notice here that there are no bumps, so it is looking as natural as possible, which is the first step when it comes to achieving a flawless bridal hairstyle. Meaning you can achieve, um, you know, you can achieve basically anything with any color of expression bounce, which is perfect for a bride on a big day. Now we're about to move into the um, styling part. We need to make her look like a bride. So what is the first thing we need to do? The first step is to bring out the section which will go as our base section. So I'm going to bring out the base section. And this basically will serve as my base section. And I'm going to bring it out. I use this clip to hold it down and then come into the back. Okay. 
Now for this section, I'll need to part this hair into two halves, meaning the upper section and the lower section. So the first that we are creating is that it has a low bone with um, some stripes. Let me use the word stripes. So the first step in doing this, always remember to comb through your hair. in this way too. Now after doing that, I take a very small section of hair to cover the tracks of the elastic band. And after doing that, I use a spray to hold it down. The next thing I'll do is to take my corn and you know take it round through a hair and then I'll have to bend over this way. So I'll secure the first side first. And I come over here to, to secure it like this. Now you also have to put, um, to put your model into consideration. You have to make sure that you don't use your bobby pins to um, puncture the scalp of your clients, which is very, very important. You want your model or your client or whoever it is to be comfortable as much as possible. And then it's also important that while installing, you make sure that your paint are not visible and make sure also that your bone is well secured to the hair. You see there, it's well secured. Now, just have to spread this over. Remember, you have to make sure that all the sections look very, very smooth. So I try to use it to tuck it in to break more firmness. Now, 
So you make sure that the hair covers all sections of the bone. After doing that, you can as well go ahead to break the hair. very neat with no flyaways. Now the next section that we have to uh, concentrate on is this section. So we have to bring this side down. on that. First thing, I like to brush out again because even your natural hair gets tangled. So I just like to brush out just to see. to hold it down on the side and then if 
possible to hold it down on this side too. And then you take your um, finger of the to secure the hair down. section of the head down with the bobby pins. Having secured each section of the hair down, we will now go ahead to use our big pins, our big U pins, to so secure each section. Now, I'm using these big U pins with spray to achieve the hair style. section out. Remember, each section, one should not be bigger than the other. So you have to make sure that all you have here is what you have on the next one you're bringing out. Remember, you spray, you comb out, and then your open pins. Take your clip, you pin down, you take it down. So it makes it super easy for you to work with. Then it might also be necessary for you to take this out as it might disturb you when you're trying to do the hair over the side. Now when it comes to styling the hair, you have to be very patient and also gentle. So by while trying to create something very beautiful, you don't end up messing with your hair. So this comes like this. Now we still need our sectional clips to hold the head down. So you need to make sure that it's actually 
Now we have this section next. We now need to bring everything and then chop it into So that by the time you take out the pins, the hair is in place. Before I take out the pins, I spray one last time. And I gently take this out. And I do the same thing for this section. Having done that, you can go ahead and take out your pins as they are not meant to be there till the end of the styling. Thank you. 
Cliffs and do not have to stay, they cannot stay like this. Your client or your bride or whoever it is cannot go to whatever occasion having the section in clips, um, obvious like this. So now we have to uh, use our bobby pins to secure each part of the hair. So we're in the process of securing the hair. Make sure that everywhere is well secured. Okay, so there's still one last Take away the beauty of the hairstyle. So imagine placing my accessory here or you know placing it anyhow. So it's very important to place your accessory in a very strategic location. And I think this will be really perfect. Okay, so we were able to achieve this using expression bounds. So this bridal hair was um, used to achieve this beautiful bridal hairstyle using expression bounds. Hello, friends. Ah.